Hello and welcome back. Finally, after I don't know how long, I've been kind of procrastinating this, but we're doing another big mod showcase, I guess. And this one is atmospheric. And, uh, yeah. I don't know why I zoomed in right there. I feel like I could have done something better. Hold up. I don't think that made it any better. <laughs> this is a bit of an awesome mod, I can say. This mod basically adds... Well, currently it has two new biomes. And soon there will be... Hell, four more. Jesus Christ. Currently, let's say the most completed biomes are these two that I'm going to showcase today. I'll do other showcases when they finish other biomes, but for now it's just these two. These two are pretty cool. The other ones, some of the content's already in the mod, however you can only access it through creative mode, and damn that shit with schmexy. Today we're going to look at the rainforest, which was previously called the uh, rosewood forest, which now it doesn't solely focus on the trees, so it's rainforest. This is the rainforest. Regardless, what you might notice is that this rainforest has a bunch of cool new trees. These trees are rosewood trees. There are actually several types of this rainforest biome, one of which is just like the normal rainforest, which has the, the land and everything, and then you just walk around. And then over here we have, which I made the showcase on, is the, uh, the rainforest basin, which actually is sort of like a flooded, underwater area with uh, with the trees growing through the through the water and then there's also like rainforest plateau which is sort of like that area over there but let's get started to what the content in this mod has well as i showed you there's the rosewood trees and that adds an entirely new type of wood rosewood <laughs> of course you can craft everything with that, this is what the sapling looks like. The doors, damn, they're beautiful. And over here, there's also the rosewood trapdoor. This mod requires abnormal score, so you can have the cool stuff like signs. Now, next up, we have monkey brush. There's three different types of monkey brush, and they can grow on all sides of a block. There's the uh, the warm monkey brush, the hot monkey brush, and then the scalding mon monkey brush. Now what you might have noticed over here is that there's there's some weird new vines. These vines are passion fruit vines, which you can of course find naturally generating in these rainforests, but these passion fruit vines grow passion fruit, as you can see. I believe there's several stages. So the first stage is just kind of like the normal vine. The second stage has flowers on it. The third stage, I don't know if there's any examples here, but it has it's basically like the, the fourth stage, which is this one, uh, but it uh, has the yellow, yellowish green buds. And then there's the fourth stage, and then the fifth stage. And at the fifth stage, you can right click it, and you get passion fruit. When you eat it, you start spitting seeds at it, which it gives you the spitting effect. Now another cool thing you can do with passion fruit is that you can craft it into, you can craft it into shimmering passion fruit, and what this does is that when you eat it, you spit seeds at a faster rate. Now, I guess for like a little bit longer, I don't know, it's spitting too. Now you can of course craft passion fruit and make several different neat treats. You can make a passion fruit tart with eight passion fruit and an egg. Now if I eat that, I think it's just a normal tart. So basically just another fruit item. However, with this, this is the passion fruit sorbet. And, with, and you craft the passion fruit sorbet with a bowl, sugar, passion fruit, and ice. And when, you, and when you eat it, it gives you slowness 5, but I believe that it, it fills up a bunch of your hunger. Let me test that. And then if I eat this... Yeah, it fuels a lot of your hunger haunches, which is great. But it gives you slowness 5 for like 10 seconds, so... It's not the best, but it's, it works. Now with the passion fruit vine itself, once you grab the passion fruit vine, you can craft two different things. One of which is a block, and the other one is an item that you use. Let's go over the item first. The item is just eight of the passion fruit vines 
wrapped around with nothing in the middle in the crafting table. And that will give you a passion vine co coil. What this does is that, let's say you're in a, in a ravine, for example, and you're trying to get up to a certain place, and you can't really reach there because you don't have any blocks on you. If you have one of these suckers on, and if it's it goes as far as eight blocks, once you throw it at the top of that eight block, of those eight blocks, oh, it didn't go all the way. My aim was a little bit bad, but it, this saves you some of those passion vines. It'll place those passion vines for you to climb up. And then the next one we have over here is a passion vine bundle. And that requires all nine of those passion vines. And with that, let's say you're trying to get down from a place instead of up. You can place this passion vine bundle at the top of where you're trying to get down. And then you break it with your hand in survival. I tried right clicking and I realized I'm a bit of a dumbass. You do that, and then it'll place those passion vines down for you. Oh yeah, I brought Boidle again. What's up, Boidle? Yup, yup. And he provides unique trades for the atmospheric stuff. So, be on the lookout for those. Bosewood wrote. Now we have two new types of potions that you can actually get in this mod. The first one being Relief, which heals the entity if incoming damage is greater than or equal to the level of damage that you receive. And then there's also Worsening, which increases incoming damage if it's greater than or equal to the level that you receive. Now how you get these is that, let's say you have an Awkward Potion ready in your brewing stand. You take a Shimmering Passion Fruit, and then you brew it into there and then it will give you a potion of relief. Now how you get the worsening is that you take a fermented spider eye and ferment it into the potion of relief. There we go, potion of worsening. I already brewed a potion of worsening, but I'm gonna take the potion of relief as well that's in this chest, and I'm gonna show you how it works. So right now I'm at full health, and when I fire this arrow from this dispenser over here, it causes one and a half hearts. Of damage. Now if I were to drink this potion of relief, any damage dealt towards me, so that was one and a half, now it only causes one heart of damage, as you saw early, as you saw right there. Now with the potion of worsening, once you drink it, or like splash it onto someone, it increases that damage. So now that arrow does two hearts of damage instead of one and a half can definitely be useful in PvP battles if you're fighting against someone. I think that's it for the rainforest stuff for now. Now of course they're going to add more rainforest stuff later on as they update this mod. For example, there's going to be two cams. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they're going to do yet with those, but I definitely know that those will be great for the uh, aesthetic of this rainforest. Now actually, let's move on to the dunes. Now welcome to the dunes biome. This biome's another variant of a, of a desert biome, I guess, but it adds a lot more things as you can see around here. Alright, so we've made it to my showcase, and over here, you might notice there's a cool new tree! Wow, lots of new trees in this mod. That's kinda dope. Now this tree is called a yucca tree. Now in real life, it's also called a joshua tree, which those can be found in Fun fact, the Mojave Desert in California, so that's cool. But in this, in, in the mod they're called Yucca Trees. And Yucca Trees offers a cool new type of wood that's sort of like a, I don't know, it's its own cool, cool color of, uh, of red. Now there's the doors, the doors kind of look like waffle irons, not gonna lie. Uh, there's the sapling, there's everything, yada yada yada. And the trap door is also like a waffle, waffle iron, so you can use that for like a kitchen or whatnot. Yucca sign. Now one neat thing about this tree is that its leaves actually hurt you if you walk on them. So you, you want to avoid that because they're, they're kind of a bit spiky, not gonna lie. Now these trees might have a rare chance to generate a yucca branch, which that's what it looks like. And a yucca branch can be used to grow yucca fruit. Now this is a yucca fruit bundle, I believe, but it grows like this naturally. And you have to, in order to grow the yucca, the yucca fruit, the yucca branch has to be under a yucca log. Now once you break this yucca bundle, it will give you the yucca fruit items itself. 
Now, if you actually silk touch this, or maybe shears, I don't know, let me test. I believe you can shear these. No, you have to silk touch them. It'll give you the yucca fruit. And when you eat them, it just, it's not the best food, but it's, it's a source of food. And what you want to do is you want to silk touch these yucca bundles, so then you can actually cook it and create this, uh, these roasted yuccas. Yeah, you take the yucca bundle, you cook it, and then it will give you the roasted yucca bundle, like that. Now these blocks are actually affected by gravity. Now the ones that actually grow off the trees, they're, they're fine until probably like their block updated, I don't know. But these ones, what, wait a minute, that's, okay, weird. But yeah, that, that's affected by gravity. Yeah, that one's affected, that's affected. It's a weird block to mess around with. And then you can eat the roasted yucca fruit, which actually gives you a new effect called persistence. Now what persistence does, so let's say your hunger gets really low down to like below three haunches. In that case, you can't run anymore. Now with persistence, it allows you to run while you're low at those three haunches, which is kind of awesome. Okay, now over here we have a couple new plants as well. This one is actually the yucca flower. Now you don't want to exactly get it confused with the yucca tree and yucca fruit over there, because this this hurts. This also kind of hurts. Everything in this biome hurts. Oh yeah, and what you might have noticed is that the sky of this biome is kind of an orangey color. Now what this plant does is once you walk into it, it kind of knocks you back. The small one knocks you back one block, and the big one knocks you back two blocks, which is kind of insane. Now you can bone meal this and it'll give you the tall yucca flower, which is sort of useful if you want to just have these guys instead of only these guys, because this guy causes twice the amount of knockback, so it can be used for bumpers, I guess, for some sort of minigame. These ones, I believe, you just break and we'll give you that. So yeah. And over here, we have the aloe plant. Now the aloe plant, it also hurts. It's everything in this biome hurts. With the aloe plant, once you break it, or break the tall one, it'll give you aloe kernels, yellow dye, and aloe leaves themselves. Now you can plant the aloe kernels and it'll take a while, but it'll grow an entirely new aloe vera plant. Now, I think it will grow only up to this stage, unless you bone meal it more, and then it will grow the, uh, the yellow flowers as you see over there. And actually, if I were to walk into the ones with yellow flowers, there's particles coming off them. However, if I walk into them, it causes more of those yellow particles to come off the flowers. Now, what you can do with the aloe leaves themselves is that you can craft them into a bottle of aloe gel. And once you drink the aloe gel bottle, it gives you a new effect called gel, which this gelled effect actually re like stops you, you from burning if you're on fire and starts healing you a little bit. So if I were to set myself on fire, I'm on fire, right? Now if I drink this, it stops. Actually, huh, that's weird. I thought it would keep I thought it would stop you from burning entirely, but it still kind of still kind of hurts. It just reduces the burning damage. Regardless, yeah, it's useful for when you fall in lava, and then it can be used as a sort of fire resistance, but like less strong. I don't know. You can also craft the uh, the aloe leaves into a aloe bundle, which is just another storage block that looks kind of nice. Now, actually, you can also take four of the aloe vera bottles, the gel bottles, and craft an aloe gel block. Now this block, it's a bit of a weird block. Once you walk through it, here, let me get rid of this. Once you walk through it, it both gives you the gel effect and poison effect, and you fall through the block entirely, so it's like cobweb in a way. It has some sort of use, I'm not sure, but people might be able to find ways to use it. Now there's two other things that you can actually use the uh, the yucca fruit for in terms of crafting. You can craft yucca juice 
which I believe if you drink the yucca juice, it just gives you persistence, but for like a little bit longer. And that requires sugar, three yucca fruit that are not roasted in a bottle. Now over here we have a yucca gateau. And this is a placeable food item, sort of like cake. And once you craft it with two roasted yucca fruit, an aloe vera gel bottle, which this kind of confuses me. I thought you would craft it with this. Regardless, you craft it with the aloe gel bottle, a yucca flour, and two wheat. And then you get yourself the gateau, you place it down, and you eat it in slices, but it also gives you persistence, which is dope. Ew, yuck. Ugh, gross. Yucca boat. Now you might have noticed there's new sand, and this sand isn't like your normal sand that you see every day in Minecraft. This is arid sand. There's arid sand, but there's also arid sandstone. And you craft this arid sandstone into smooth arid sandstone, which is cool. And then there's like a, a little skeleton design on this chiseled one. And then over here there's also red arid sand, which there's red arid sandstone as well. Smooth red arid sandstone and the chiseled one, which is actually like a slime face. And then the last thing we have over here is the barrel cactus. This has four stages of growth. There's the tiny one, which once you walk over it, I guess it gives you weakness, yeah. If you walk into any of these, it gives you weakness. Regardless, there's four of the growth stages. There's the small, the kind of medium, the mostly medium, and then there's like a full block one, which this one... This one kind of sucks, but hey. And once you break the this one in survival, it gives you, but it it gives you those barrel cacti. You can craft these into orange dye. And I believe that's pretty much it in terms of the dune stuff. I'm just gonna show you some of the biome variants that you can get. This is the flourishing dunes, which has all those unique plants as well as the barrel cacti. And sometimes you can find melons, which is a bit weird in my opinion. But hey, I'm not one to judge. I believe this is sort of like the rocky area with rocky boulders made of these sandstone types, which is nice. And one of my favorite unique variations of this biome is the petrified one, which these used to be old yucca trees back in the, in the day, and now they've petrified into sandstone. I think that's going to be it for this video. As a final thing, I'm going to just spit a whole bunch of seeds at these cows and watch them fall off to maybe some of their deaths. Who knows? Nom, 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 nom. Goodbye, 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 and goodbye. Oh, that poor one died over there. Oh, damn. Regardless, I hope you guys have a good day. Make sure to download the mod in the description as well as abnormal score, which is needed for this one. Let me know what you want to see next. I think I'll do Upgrade Aquatic Part 3 next. Or if they finally update Savage Ravage, I'll do that too. Regardless, have a good day. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. At a thousand subscribers, I'll open a Discord server. That'll be fun. Making these is a little bit tiring, but hey, this one was a big one, so it was to be expected. Hope you guys have a good day. See ya.